come together and talk about our wondrous words. 15, maybe 16 things to worry about by Judith Forrest. My parents can make me fall down when I die off the diving board. My nose could make me keep growing and never quit. This spirit could ask me to spell words like something is special. Something is special? I could play tag all day and always be it. My about capacity. So let's label our notes capacity. Okay, so first we're going to define capacity. So capacity is the amount A container can hold when filled. So we know in fourth grade we use our metric units only. So some of the metric units that we will use for capacity are liter, which is symbolized by an uppercase L, and a milliliter. Which is symbolized by a baby M and an uppercase L. Okay, so we're also going to be learning how to convert between liters and milliliters. So in order to do that, we have to know that one liter is equal to 1,000 1, milliliters. Okay, 
So we're also going to talk about the customary units, which is what we use here in America. So some of the customary, some of the customary units that we use are fluid ounce. which is symbolized by FL for fluid and OZ for ounce. A teaspoon, which sometimes if you're cooking or baking, you use a teaspoon, which is symbolized by TSP. Another one which you might use when you're baking not to be confused with teaspoon because if you confuse those that maybe mess up your cookies or whatever you're baking would be tablespoon something else that we use while baking or even in our everyday lives would be a cup which is about the same size as like a cup or a mug of coffee. Which is just symbolized by a C. We also use a pint which is about the same size as a personal milk that you would get. Which is in my side, lowercase p. We also use a quart. Symbolized by Q and the T. And the last one is a gallon. Which, when your mom comes home and has a big carton of milk, that is what a gallon is. Which is represented by a G or G A L. Okay, when you're finished with this page, we're going to flip to the next page so I know you're ready. Okay, thumbs up if we're done so I can flip the page. Y'all done? Okay. No. No. No, we're going to need a whole page for the next one. We're gonna draw a picture. Picture. Okay, raise your hand if you need more time on this page. Okay, keep writing. No rush. What did you say? We need a new title? No, we're not gonna need a new title. we're going to draw a nice picture of a gallon house. So, because Miss Root likes her colors, we're going to do color coding it. So, the first thing we're going to draw up here is a big G, and that is our house. You can put a little roof on it and write gallon house. That's how big? The entire, the width, the whole, your whole page. Yes, you can use flare pens if you need to. You don't have to color cut it like this. So when we talk about a gallon, we know that in a gallon there are four quarts. 
So our courts are going to become our windows of our house. So we're going to make us four squares with a kind of looks like a Q, right? So we know that there are four quarts in a gallon, so we're going to draw four of our little Q-shaped windows in our house. Wait, four? Mm -hmm. Wait, three or So in one gallon, there are four quarts. Well, good. What did I draw? Four cues, right? That's mm -hmm. What'd you do? I uh, wrote three up here. Well, as long as you have four, it doesn't matter where they are. Yes. So we need to make sure that we have four quarts for our windows to our house. So within our quart, each quart contains two pints. So we're going to have one here and one there. Does everybody see that? So within the gallon, there are four quarts, and within each quart, there are two pints. So we need to draw two pints in each quart, which can kind of represent the people in our house. Eight people. So we have one big gallon, four quarts, and then within each quart there are two pints. Now within the pints, we know that there are cups. So in each pint, you need to put two cups. So two little C's within each pint. Kind of. We can go with that. This one has weird eyes, but that's okay. Yes, the C's represent the cup, which is what we wrote on the other page. Okay, so that's our actual house. Now we're going to draw some trees outside with some other information in them. So we're going to draw a tree over here. Oops, not an artist, y'all. Here's our tree. Okay. So within the tree, on, doesn't have to be perfect, just make it kind of look like a tree. On the tree to the right, we're going to put that three teaspoons equals to one tablespoon. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. <coughs> when you're done with that, draw it on a tree on the left. Is it okay if it goes outside our margins? Outside your margins? Oh, yeah. It's fine, as long as it all fits on one page. Uh, Do you not have room on the right or I'll the make left? Make it fit. Make it fit. You got it. As long as you get the information down, it doesn't have to be pretty. Okay, so on our other tree, we're going to write that one cup is equal to eight, eight fluid ounces. is represented by a G for what? Yeah. A gallon. And how many quarts are in a gallon? Four. 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 Now how many pints are in one quart? Eight. Eight. Two. 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 In one. Now how many pints are in a gallon? Eight. 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 Right? So now how many cups do we have in one pint? Two. two. Just two. So now it's a tricky one. How many cups do we have in a gallon? Six. 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 Yes, 16. Okay, so we all understand about 
our gallon house. So this will be a good reference when we're converting. So is everybody done? Yes. Yes? Okay. It says to convert liters to milliliters. So we said liters to milliliters. You multiply, so our multiplication sign, times 1,000. So let's do an example of going from liters to milliliters. So if we have, or liters, yeah, liters to milliliters. So if we have 60 liters, that equals how many milliliters? Do the math and raise your hand if you know the answer. Kevin, what's the answer? 60,000? Yes, because we do 1,000 times 60, and that equals 60,000. So that is the answer. 60,000. Okay, let's do one more. We have 100 liters. How many milliliters are in 100 liters? Make sure we're showing our work off to the side. Sonia, what's the answer? 100,000. Yes. So we did 1,000 times 100. That equals 100. Oh. Okay. So the next thing we're going to talk about is going from right here. It says to convert milliliters to liters. So we're just going to go backwards of what we just did. So going from milliliters to liters, you're going to divide the opposite of what we just did, divide by 1,000. So one example we could do would be if we had 80,000 milliliters, how many liters do we have? Grace? 80. That's correct. So we just did, how did you solve that, Grace? Yes, correct. So let's do one more example. We, if we have 5,000 <coughs> milliliters, <coughs> how many liters do we have? You have the, uh, the, uh, the, the comma. The yeah, comma? The comma. Thank you, Clayton. Grace, and how many liters do we have? Five. Five liters. That's correct. Okay. Are there any questions over milliliters to liters, liters to milliliters? No. Anybody confused? Yes, Lynn? Uh, I don't think how 80,000 80, divided by, wait, is it divided by 1,000? Yes. Right here, going from milliliters to liters, we said we have to divide by 1,000. Is that, you understand, Lynn? Make sense? Okay, who are my people who pass routers? of the page or I'm going to call people up and we're going to fill it in on the board. So who wants to do A and B? Devaney, come up here. You can bring your paper if you need it. We'll do the charts at the top. We'll do the charts at the top Do A and B first. Here you go. on the wrong side. No, hmm? converting liters to milliliters. I know. Oh, okay. You're looking at the other A and B. Um, it's okay. It's five. Okay, so what are you missing with this problem? I don't know. Okay. There we go. While I'm memorizing it. Okay. 
We agree? Yes. yes. Okay, who wants to fill in first box? Jenna? Pass out the marker. Skip the whole box. You can bring your paper if you need to. Or memorize the answer. Okay, Tessa, fill in the second box, please. Tessa, just bring your paper up here. Just bring it up. Thumbs up if we agree. <coughs> okay, pass off to a girl. Okay. 